So let's talk about, uh, as I said, for boards and sea level, what you're doing is you're honoring our commitment to diversity and, and inclusion. And uh, here again, I call those the key insight reports are either, if they're on, on the plus, they're the dutiful dozen, and if they're on the uh, dragging things down, then during dozen. And you see that they'll affect execution excellence and inclusion, the business results that you you, you get, uh, uh, realizing untapped productivity and diversity, etc. So you can see this is what these measure and get after. On the left, managerial practices, you'll see uh, two basic questions there. Who's the, man, who's the individual reporting to, which is very, very, very important. Uh, and how's that person viewed? Uh, is a manager consistent in creating a productive and motivating workplace? Or is it a toxic workplace? And then to the right, you see all the insight reports. So here you, you have 12 of them. Could we run more? Absolutely. But I just cho chose uh, 12, which I think are prominent pretty prominent and get, get you a good picture of what's happening. We'll be talking to about all of these reports. Um, most of them are in the dashboard. Two of them are not. One of them is the, the, uh, uh, the employee engagement report. Usually that's handled by an outside firm. And then on the 12th down there, avoiding high risk placements. And by that, I'm talking about uh, and issue, issues that are not uh, reported, but they're known to be places that you don't want to put somebody that has talent. I call them black holes, whirlpools, and red zones, and I'll show you what that is. So these are the factors that relate to the future long-term organization success, and also, are you successful with your diversity program? The quality of managers and team leaders is the single biggest factor in your organization's long-term success. This came from Gallup Research, longitudinal research over four years. So the quality of management and team leaders, keep that in mind, and then organization practices account for 30% of this. So what you've got right here are the kingmakers, uh, managerial practices, and organization deployment practices. And what we're going to be doing is delving into those.